His expectations are to go out there and be successful, make plays, win ball games, win championships. That's the level he's going to hold you to. If you don't want to be held to that level, then play your couple of years there and move on to another team. End of quote with Jordy Nelson. Jordy's right. He's right in everything that he says there. Do you want to know why the New England Patriots have Julian freaking Edelman on that team for 10 years, becoming a Super Bowl MVP? Because Tom Brady knows where he will be every single second of every single game because he will run the right routes. Tom Brady does not need you to be Randy Moss. He needs to know where you will be when you are supposed to be there. Julian Edelman is at times pathetic about how he's a puppy dog around Tom Brady. Tom, what do you need? Tom, what do you need? Tom, what do you need? But guess what Tom Brady gets out of that? Security and trust. I know where he's supposed to be because he's going to be there. Because he knows if he's not there, I'll have him cut. Why do the New England Patriots keep putting out their undersized or slow for the position wide receivers? Because those guys have to work harder knowing exactly where to be when they've got to be there. Because Tom Brady demands that. Brady's entire success is built on timing and rhythm and expecting what the defense is going to do and being able to react to it in a split nanosecond. You can't do that by not knowing where your guys are supposed to be. Now, I don't think Rodgers does this as well as Brady. Rodgers, at times, necessity to freelance. Rodgers' necessity to wait for a play to break down and to schoolyard it, I think, hurts the Packers. But damn, if you're a target and you don't expect your quarterback to demand you to be in the right spot at all times, no matter your friendship with him or not, or how long you've been there or not, you're out to lunch.